MOT day today. It's um, time absolutely flies by, doesn't it? No, I'll follow you. I'll follow you, I'll stop here. <laughs> I'm stopping here, no, thank you very much. I'll follow you. <laughs> so you think that colour is a bit extreme, but it's quite nice, you know. It's quite nice, that colour. You get used to it. So here's Debbie's little puke. Um, it's got an MOT now, so it's had its yearly test. It's got an MOT uh, until 2024. Uh, look, it's only done 16,000 miles. So the reason we... Um, let's have a walk around, look. She keeps it pretty clean. She, um, okay, it's only three years old, but it doesn't earn many mileage. So you, I, I can hear you saying, well, Reggie, why would you want to spend all that amount of money for not going very far when an old banger would do? So I'm going to try and explain to you why we, uh, we like to go this way down with our, how we handle the, how, how we handle the cars. Let's go in here. Whoops. Right. So <laughs> it's, um, so when we got it, it was car of the year. Can you see it in the middle there? It was car of the year. It was the, the model, fr freshest model of, for that year. So we buy them over a five year finance deal. We pay five years tick on them. So we've now, remember we had another one in front. So we had to deposit from the previous car because we, we only buy new ones. Um, then obviously there's money to pay on this. And in the beginning, it is quite, uh, it's quite hairy, you know, but quite steep, the payments. But you soon get used to them. And if you know that money's going out every month, paying for your car. But that's all you pay. Um, and obviously servicing once a year. But you don't get any breakdowns. Uh, you don't, they don't give you any trouble. For me, they're the it, they're the most safest thing you can drive around in because it's the most modern. It's got airbags. Um, it's fresh metal. It's designed to in a hit. You're the, you're in the safest thing you can afford because obviously prices of cars go up and down and change, don't they? So if you can afford to drive around in the safest machine that you can uh, you can buy at that time then this is the safest machine. Now, at that point, Debbie was going to Shrewsbury, wasn't she? So we bought this, we had, we had a little 108 before, which was like riding around in a little plastic brown paper bag <laughs> sort of thing. So this was a bit better, but a bit safer in a knock. So you're safer in a knock, you've got your, your airbag, you're in the, the, the most up-to-date, safest and safest technology in the car, you know. So now uh, it comes round to MOT and tests and all that. So we're hoping, again, it, it, we just took it in, passed its MOT, no problems, didn't expect any problems at all. And we, we've never had any trouble with them when we get them. Um, and we don't expect them next year. It's probably going to be five years before you're going to have to maybe buy parts or buy something for them. So, okay, we've paid three years tick and we've got two years to go. So we owe money on it. But the thing is, if you calculate what this is worth, you couldn't buy this for the remaining two years finance we've got to pay on it. So from here on in now, uh, if we were to start from scratch, you couldn't buy this for two years payments. So now we, we begin to see the benefits of it and the price of labour. And the, the problem you get is as you, the trouble with garages and, and repairs, it's getting dearer and dearer and dearer and it doesn't add to it. So if you had a, a, a you know, a, a car that needed repairs, these days, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand pound in parts and labour goes nowhere and you, and you could spend that on a car that's broken easily and 
it wouldn't be worth a penny more. You could spend three grand on your car if it's something went wrong, and and like I say, it wouldn't be worth a penny more. So now it, it, um, it's reliable. It's clear. Get in. You, you got to factor in the price of being able to just get in, press the button, and go. A lot of people don't put um, much in into that, knowing that you you're paying for that so it, it's repairs we we this is how we like them over five years and then we out them and of course there'll be a certain amount of value tied in this as a deposit for the next one uh and and and, and you build it as you go you know if you stay the same thing or a similar if you go up obviously you pay a bit more but if you stay with the same sort of model or the same sort of price range the you're you're also saving and the deposit will help pay for the next one which will cut uh, you know the the pain of the next one <laughs> so yeah we like to have them over five years and then out them now there's a story to be told on the passat but we won't tell you that story just yet <laughs> anyway yeah that's why the why the passat is still here um because that's now coming up for seven years old now the Passat but anyway so we're talking about this today and the the, the pu Puco it, they're great and of course you're getting best the fuel economy you're you're getting the best emissions and obviously you've got to put a price on it per week for that but the reliability and the safety is the main thing you can get in turn the key off you go and you're in the safest thing you know technology this has got airbags all over the damn thing um so that's that's how why we like to do it this way we think for us it's it it works for us do you know what i mean because we i hate cars when they break down oh i can't abide them when you get an unreliable car or a car that plays up i uh, just can't be doing with it at all so it works well. So this is it's all right for year number three. Now we're beginning to see the benefits because the, the first couple of years, you're paying payments. You're starting to pay your payments. You, you still owe a lot of money on it, and it's a bit scary. <laughs> but it's a bit like your house, you know. I mean, you take out a 25-year mortgage, and eventually you see the benefits. Our house, it took us 25 years to pay for it. Now we're seeing the benefits 25 years later. We, at the time we bought it, it was a bit frightening. So the cars are the same. When, when you first, you know, um, when you first start your first payments on your new cars, the first couple of years are a bit scary. Um, but a, a, as they get older, they begin to pay the benefits. But yeah, this this will only uh, stay with us another two years uh, and then it'll be outed. And uh, we like to do them every five years obviously you know um whilst you're still earning and and whilst something you know something catastrophic hasn't happened in your life so anyway hmm, the peugeot is doing really well really pleased with it and i definitely think keeping it in a tent has kept it cleaner and nicer it's kept the weather off it in the winter and you know the lockdown when it sat here for weeks and did went nowhere see the bright sun it's really bright and sunny isn't it so it's keeping the excess sun off it and it's keeping the excess free fr frost off it so definitely i think you know we've, we can't always have a garage and put your car in but the next best alternative is one of these tents i'm really pleased with um it's keeping the car in really good condition and I, and I think having this um this Clark's tent definitely um contributed to it because it always overnight it always kept in the tent every whenever it's home it's kept in the tent mm. and the poor Passat gets a tough life <laughs> living in a transport yard <laughs> the filth that comes on it because of the dust in the trucks, the trucks come in, the, in the dry weather, it creates a lot of dust, you know, um, but it's one of those things, but that's got the glass coat on it. 
and it, it comes up lovely when it's clean but sometimes parking it where I park it there's no point in cleaning the damn thing because uh, it's just gonna get dusted upon get filth all over it Look. The poor Passat yeah he's having a tough life <laughs> but it's only done um, what have we got I think we've got 25 thousand miles on it let's um what have i done with the keys oh yeah they're there <coughs> this one has only done uh, yeah this has only done twenty three thousand. so it's uh still doing okay yeah so buying cars is not unlike it's a smaller scale but it's not unlike buying houses. In the very beginning, it's daunting and it's a long time and it's a lot of money. But eventually, eventually, you know, you get to, you pay it off. Uh, you look after it, you do whatever you gotta do to it. And it pays off now. I mean, now we've bought a house after 25, well, 35, because we've had a few more before, before this one. But, um, now we don't pay rent we don't pay mortgage it pays off but it's been a long long journey and of course you have to look after them as you're going along and you know maintain them change a few things do a few things to them but eventually it does pay off um it's the same as your cars but on a smaller scale this is a 25 year that's like a five year scale um we think uh, it does pay off but it, it's a bit scary in the beginning a bit frightening in the beginning because you don't know what's around the corner and where you're going to be but I tell you what time does fly I mean I can't believe we've had that per Peugeot three years already wow it only feels like it was a couple of months ago yeah are these is that a is pair it a of... kite? is that eagle what is the only reason because he's got like fingers on the end of his wings has he come back now he's coming this way yeah he's coming this way, he's coming this way. what is that is it a some sort of oh there's another one no oh yeah he's on the... that's a buzzard there's two other... yeah i can't see now with the sun yeah yeah this is up there is there two of them Oh yeah, on the hunt. Yeah, they got, like, no. Look, 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 yeah. You can see at the tips of the wings have got like it's almost fingers. Isn't it? Oh, oh, are we going to see? Is he going to go and get one? Watch him get a hit. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them knocking around. Well, I suppose we've got lots of birds here, haven't we? So I suppose food for other birds no 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 don't leave it leave nature do a thing this um we like the bumblebees we we pruned and this yellow stuff came it was all over it's not so yellow we, stuff it's ivy dear yeah we killed all the ivy but obviously we didn't do a good enough job so we'll come back and snip all them but we just happened to look See at this, how this is spreading, though? i didn't yeah. think it would fill a hole you know but no, it is. it's coming low there's something in there that's a funny spider's web thing isn't it and we've got lots of bumblebees and you can hear it when it's when the flowers come the whole bush buzzes this this is um yeah yeah they're all right they're gentle the bumblebees as long as you don't bother them the bumblebees are great out here yeah and then this this took over Th this plant is what killed the that, that one, yeah. So we took it all out and we've got a big gap. So what we're going to do is just keep on top of it. And when it shows itself, we just give it a snip off. Mm. Yeah. Hopefully this is spread across now. Yeah, but I noticed, it? I was like, oh look, got all the little babies coming across. Yeah, the flowers are starting, so. Hmm. Yeah, so we're not going to allow that to live. But we do like, we, we like this, don't we? But it's been well hammered. Like 
and it's got a right age. We like to come out here and hear the bumblebees, but it's got a right old age on it. I don't know, uh, we, we've probably killed it or it's surviving, so I'll give it a few years. It might, uh, it just shows you how much ivy there was on there, and how it was killing it. So we butchered it, but we're just hoping, hoping it might come back in a few years. Yeah. If not, scrap it and start again. You'd have to get a bloody digger in to get it cut off. Yeah, there's lots and lots of roots in there. So, hmm. One of those things. Come show me then. Look! Ooh, Our very first cauliflower. Naturally produced. Yeah. Organic. Organic. No horrible stuff sprayed on it. But you, how many have you had died? You've had one die. Cause... Well, I had two lovely ones die. Yeah. But I didn't realise that once the heads start showing, yeah. apparently you've got to cover them up. So either pin the leaves like that, yeah, or a couple of lock a couple of the low ones and lay them over the top. Yeah. Because the head doesn't like the sun. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know how they grow them in the fields. But you transferred them from. They were in the greenhouse because I planted these. Yeah. October, November time. Yeah. And I've only just harvested them. Yeah. So, so they're you very plant... slow growing. They were in... Well, it's been a very slow year, hasn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's been, been terrible. Cold. It's only yeah. been started getting warm now. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so you had two that died. That when you well, brought them out of the greenhouse, I managed to drag the tubs outside. But yeah. by then, I think they'd already had it. Had it, and then it sort of changed colour and went dark, didn't it? Yeah. Different colours. Anyway, this one survived. This is our very first cauliflower. So what are we having tomorrow? Me. What are we having for lunch tomorrow? We're having this tonight. Yeah, what are we having? Oh, tonight. What are we having tonight then? Cauliflower cheese. Cauliflower cheese. Debbie's favourite. <laughs> I've had orders to um, look at that. What are you doing washing them now? Get rid of all the bugs. Oh, there wasn't no bugs anywhere. No. But it's had a good soak. Yeah. What are you going to do now then? I'm going to cook it. Yeah. And then make some cheese sauce. How are you going to cook it? Oil it. In what? In the pressure cooker? Yeah. 10 minutes in the pressure cooker. Yeah. Well, you can't wait, can you? Debbie can't wait to get it. <laughs> so I've had orders to come and film the cauliflower being washed. <laughs> cheese sauce, what is it? Just not melted cheese. You put a knob of butter in. Yeah. You put some flour in. Yeah. And you mix it yeah. like that for about a couple of minutes to make like a sticky roux thing. Yeah. Yeah. Then you add some milk. Yeah. And you keep stirring it and stirring it and stirring it until you're nice thick white sauce. Yeah. Then I always then do my grated cheese. Yeah. Bit of mustard, bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. And then that's all ready. What's cheese sauce? Cheese sauce. To go on your cauliflower. Your cauliflower. Mmm. I don't make this packet stuff, mate. <laughs> it's proper stuff. <laughs> and proper cauliflower from the greenhouse. You can't wait to get on with this, are you? It's your favourite thing. I'll turn it off. Cauliflower Come on, cheese. Turn it off. Let's have it. 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 Let's have it.